Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 24th of uh, September. And I would like to read in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 21. Folly brings joy to one who has no sense. But whoever has understanding, keep a straight course or walk in righteousness. In order to walk in righteousness, you have to be sober. To be sober, we saw it yesterday. And today, I would like to share with you the fact that you need to know the word of God, the revelation of the Lord, the perfect law of God. And we are going to read for that in Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 16. When your words came, I ate them. They were my joy and my heart's delight, for I bear your name, Lord God Almighty. Beautiful. So the joy, you have, you'll find it not in doing what is wrong, but in the revelation that comes from the Lord. And Jeremiah said that when he saw the words of the Lord, he ate them. And then they will penetrate his heart. They penetrated his heart. That's why probably he could face the destruction of Jerusalem and go through all those terrible trials and tribulations that he had to go through. It's because the word of God was deep in his heart. In the same book of Jeremiah, God is going to say that one day he would put that word in men's heart. The, the word will transform, will transform the person from inside. And you know that you came, we came, we all came, according to Paul, from darkness. We came from death because the wages of sin is death. And we were under the curse of sin. But the word of God that comes into our hearts will change us from inside and we'll be filled with this joy that comes only from God. Your, your, law, your law is my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. So 119 verse 100, 100, 111. Again, the revelation that comes from God becomes the joy of David. It's the joy for his heart. This Psalm 119, it's, it's known as being the longest text in the Bible. And it's also the text that talks about the law of God, the word of God, the revelation of God. Very beautiful text that you should read. Meditate on it. It is that uh, this revelation that Jesus came to, to bring and and in Jesus, you can see the practice of this beautiful word. And now we are going to, be, to practice it as well. James chapter 1 verse 25 says, But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. So the practice of the word of the, the Lord, we just don't look at it, but we let it transform us. And then we are going to be that word. It's like the love of God. It has been given us by the Holy Spirit. And then we are going to practice it. We're going to, to love. We are going to do what that uh, love is doing in us. We are going to be filled with God's love. But people, you see, that we have it. We'll practice it. That's what the revelation has been given us to, to change our heart. The Lord of God came to change us. And uh, that's what that law, that perfect law is doing even now. God bless you.